this morning, we introduced you to some of the winners of our student news contest. And if you've never seen the reports, well, they are written, they're shot, they're edited, all by local, middle, and high school students. So joining me now to talk about the best overall news story in the middle school division, we had high school last hour, is Caitlin Testani, Melissa Rafferty, and Nicole Genovese. And they're all from the Shelton Intermediate School. Their piece was titled Doggy Fitness. Nice job, way to go. This was it. You were the big Thank winners you. in middle school. Nicole, let's start with you because this was kind of your idea, doggy fitness. Well, how did you come up with the idea? Um, well, our teacher told us about the contest, and um, I had gone to this facility um, to buy Christmas trees, and um, I heard about it, and we thought it would be a great topic to choose. So you were doing something else, and the story just kind of came to you. Yeah. It happens that way in journalism. You're doing something, and somebody tells you about something, and it's a great way to do it. Melissa, what did you think about doing it? Were there some issues and problems and well, challenges? Well, I like dogs, so it was. I thought it was a good idea, and I found it cool how like they did it and how it was in Shelton. I didn't know about it, so. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. And Caitlin, what did you think? How did it work out for you? It was good. The only problem was like trying to get the dogs to cooperate. <laughs> <laughs> it's apparently hard to work with children and dogs. Or, or animals. Yeah. What were some of the challenges that, that you found or, or some of the, the better parts of it? Um, well in the beginning we had to get the dogs or at the end we had to get the dogs to bark on command and that was really difficult because they would always bark too late or too early. Right. What do you guys think about doing when you grow up and you know you move on to maybe college and, and into the uh, into the career world? Do you think you might want to do something like this Melissa? Probably. Like I like writing and my best subject is language arts so Probably. Right, so it's probably fun to write the story and right. everything. Yeah. yeah, you can be creative and everything. What do you think, Nicole? Um, I don't think I'm going to go into journalism. No, so. it's probably a wise idea. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I love it. What do you think you might do? Th think you might do something else? Oh, um, I think I'm going to go into marine biology. Oh, okay. Maybe you guys will do a story on marine biology and you can hook back Maybe. up. How, how, how about you? I'm not really sure. Probably <laughs> not something sure. with animals. You have some time. Don't worry. Yeah, a lot of us choose much later in life. All right, uh, Caitlin Testani, Melissa Rafferty, and Nicole Genovese. Congratulations, guys. Thank Fantastic. You, yeah. Good work. All right, now you're going to help me toss it over to Joe Fury, right? Because the time right now is 7:26, and of course we have it weather on the sixes. Yeah, Joe. All right, guys.